So how do you use old iCloud on a new iPhone? So before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss videos like these in the future. And let's get started. As you know, every iPhone has to be using an iCloud account or an Apple ID. You need to use it to set up the iPhone and also to like download apps and sync everything. So it's really necessary for the iPhone, right? But the thing is that you can only use one account in here. It's not like you can add new or like two of them. And essentially, in case you have an old account and a new iPhone, during the setup process, you know, when you unbox it and set it up and it's going to ask you to sign in with your Apple ID, make sure to type in the old one and the password and just set up the new iPhone with the old Apple ID. It's just going to be that simple and it's actually recommended to do, to do it this way. But that's kind of basic, right? In case you still have some files on an old iCloud and you already created the new one which you use on this phone, how can you access it? Well, still, you're not going to be able to add it to the settings, but you, what you will have the, abil the ability to do is the, you know, opening up the Safari and going to iCloud.com, right? So when you go in here, you can sign in with your iCloud account. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one which you use on your phone in the settings. It might be the old one. It might be someone else's. It's not really that important, but using this website, you can access all of the mail and photos and drive documents and other apps in here, which are associated with that specific iCloud account. So keep that in mind. This is how it works. So if you have some old accounts of iCloud, just you can use Safari to sign in and access all of the things which are there. So it's pretty useful. So yeah, that's how it works. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, so you don't miss videos like these in the future. And I'm going to catch you later on.